And Massachusetts State Police telling us tonight that they will be setting up a sobriety checkpoint in Hamden County this week. Now, state police don't tell us exactly where these checkpoints are, just that the county that they'll take place in. The checkpoint will operate at various hours, and state police say their vehicle choices will not be at random. Am I free to go? Have you had anything to drink tonight, sir? Sergeant Cervantes, am I free to go? Have you had anything tonight, sir? Do you have to go away, Do you want to roll the window down? I do. You do, why's that? Yeah. Am I free to go? Huh? Am I free to go? Hi. Am I free to go? Have you consumed any alcohol? Am I free to go? Have you consumed any alcohol tonight? We can do this all night long. Am I free to go? Okay, do you have a license? Yeah, yeah. Can you pull right in here? They'll make sure of everything. For sure. Welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Thank you so much for joining us, and as always, if you enjoy our content, please do consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and interacting with us in the comments below. All of the original videos, case law, statutes, and any other sources we use are located in the description, along with our contact information if you have a video or topic that you would like us to cover. I receive questions all the time about the legality of sobriety checkpoints. I've seen a lot of videos out there showing some entertaining refusals, but they didn't necessarily explain the law behind the checkpoints and when they are constitutionally implemented. Hello, how are you this evening? How are you, sir? DWI checkpoint, can I see your license and insurance, please? You got a what? License and insurance, please. For what purpose? DWI checkpoint. DWI checkpoint? Is that a, uh, what are, what st uh, state law allows for that? Do what, sir? What state law allows for that? It's just a state law that we can do that. What is the law? What is the actual law number? I don't know. If you need to talk to somebody about that, you pull right up there where the lights are and talk to them. Okay. And so the only purpose of this is for you to just look at my license and my insurance? Yes, sir. And just checking on people, making sure they're not drinking. Okay. Because that's federally not legal unless you're uh, under the Fourth Amendment, right? Well, I'm not going to argue with you, sir. Well, I'm not okay. arguing. I'm just asking. Well, I'm not up to speed on that. I just incite, take care of things. And okay. Talk to you up there, please. Sir. Okay. May I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Are you a, are you a deputy or a sheriff? Reserve deputy, yes, sir. Okay. Um, what is your name? Darren. Darren. What's your last name, sir? Barbel. And do you have a ID or like a badge number or something like that? Right okay. There. Cool. All right. And so, if I give you my license and my insurance, then you'll look at it and then I get a go or I have to stop there no matter what? No, sir. You can go on if it's current. If it's current? Yes, sir. Okay. And if not, and I go over there and I talk to them, what happens? Yes, sir. And they'll probably give you a citation if it's not current. Well, if everything's current. I'm, okay. I'm not been drinking, so. Let me see it. You can just go on. Okay. And would they know what law yes, number it would be? Okay, and I'm not trying to harass you. Understand? I understand. Uh, you know. that's fine. You can go on up there and talk to them, and they can probably quote you the laws, and they got a book that'll tell you. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Just and stay who, left who and go in there with the lights? Who on. should I ask for? There's several deputies up there that can assist you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. The United States Supreme Court evaluated a Michigan sobriety checkpoint in Michigan Department of State Police versus Sitz. The court agreed that a Fourth Amendment seizure occurs when a vehicle is stopped at a checkpoint. Therefore, the question becomes if that seizure is reasonable under the Fourth Amendment. As per usual, there are two competing values in any society, freedom and security. Typically, the more you have of one of these values, the less you have of the other. The court balances these two values by weighing the magnitude of the state's interest in preventing drunk drivers against the intrusion on motorists stopped briefly at sobriety checkpoints. The court found that drunk drivers caused an annual death toll of over 25,000 back in 1990 and nearly 1 million personal injuries and over $5 billion in property damage. The court compared these statistics to the measure of the intrusion on motorists stopped briefly at sobriety checkpoints, determining that it is slight. 
The court found that approximately 1.6% of all drivers passing through the checkpoint were arrested for alcohol impairment, and that was good enough for them. The court ultimately ruled that the balance of the state's interest in preventing drunken driving, the extent to which the system can reasonably be said to advance that interest, and the degree of intrusion upon individual motorists who are briefly stopped, weighs in favor of the state program. Therefore, under federal law, sobriety checkpoints are legal because, per the Supreme Court, the state's interest in preventing drunk drivers outweighs the Fourth Amendment violation to the individual who is being stopped without reasonable articulable suspicion. This is, however, the floor for your rights when it comes to sobriety checkpoints. As several states have enacted laws that prohibit DUI checkpoints, and many other states have exact rules and protocols that the police must follow before erecting these checkpoints. Just because law enforcement is allowed to stop you at a sobriety checkpoint does not mean that you have to answer questions. In fact, silence is a great way to ensure that you get through a checkpoint without incriminating yourself. How you doing? You ready to win it down for me? Bring one of them for me a little bit further, okay? Just a little bit further. Can you bring one of down for me? Where are you coming from? Still live in Raleigh? Have a good night, sir. This is the way to do it. If you do not answer questions, they can't make up bogus claims of slurred speech that enables them to conduct further investigation or sobriety field tests. As long as your license and registration is clean, you don't have any smoke billowing from the car or any other types of contraband in plain sight, being quiet will ensure that you get on your way. But what are cops fishing for as they have you stopped at a checkpoint? Do you mind rolling your window down? I do. You do? Why is that? Yeah. Am I free to go? Huh? Am I free to go? I'm going to sobriety checkpoint, okay? I'm Officer Trujillo, New Mexico State Police. Hi. I'm going to sobriety checkpoint. Have you consumed any alcohol tonight? Am I free to go? Have you consumed any alcohol tonight? Am I free to go? Have you consumed any alcohol tonight? We can do this all night long. Am I free to go? All night. Okay. Have you consumed any alcohol tonight? Hey, Chief. What do you want to handle this one for? Oh, sovereign citizen. Good evening, sir. Hi. I'm all sorry. Me with the Fox Police Department, okay? Hi. We're conducting the sobriety checkpoint. I understand. Um, are we checking to see if there's anybody been drinking alcohol or narcotics? You haven't consumed any alcoholic beverages or anything like that tonight? Am I free to go? Uh, after I finish talking to you. Um, can you roll your window just a little bit because I'm so short and I can't smell into the vehicle? I, I prefer to leave it right here. It's just a hair more if you don't mind. No, thank you. And then I'll let you go on your way. So Am I free to go? Not yet, sir. Am I being detained? Uh, just that. Am, Am I being answer, detained, sir? Yes. Am I being detained? No, sir. Okay. Am I free to go? Yes, sir. I am? Where are you heading to? I, I'm free to go? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Watch yourself, sir. Listen. Read the Constitution. It just worked. Whatever. <laughs> Police want you to lower your window for a couple of reasons. Most obviously, they want to be able to have full access to smell what's inside of your car and what's emanating from your breath so they can gain probable cause based on the odor of alcohol or other contraband. You do not have to lower your window more than what is necessary to hand your documents to the officer and in some states, you're not even required to do that. It's New Year's Eve just before 10 in Levy County, Florida. Jason Gray knows he's about to hit a DUI checkpoint. And this is my fair DUI flyer, and you can see it has the fair DUI flyer language. I remain silent. No searches. I want my attorney. Inside the plastic bag, all the identification he'll need. License, registration, and insurance. The window rolled all the way up 
and that way I will not have to open my window. Because the second you open your window, they can say they smell alcohol or drugs emitting from the vehicle. And in the moment that you speak a word, they can claim that your speech is slurred. He pulls up. Deputies shine a light on the note, take a few seconds to study it, then send him on his way. This is a great way for innocent people to avoid not-so-innocent officers. Obviously, do not drink and drive. It's stupid, it's reckless, and it's dangerous. Be safe when you're on the roadways. What do you think? Should the state's interest of keeping the roads secure from drunk drivers override your freedom to be free from suspicionless seizures on the road? Let us know in the comments below. And remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them, and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.